I did. <laughs> so as we have said, uh, the wonder system arises after d4, d5, bishop f4. Uh, bishop f4 is today the main move because uh, it delays the, uh, the the development of the knight on g1 and in some lines it is important because uh, this tempo this tempo move uh, comes in handy mainly in the lines connected with the early c5 by black and uh, the play usually goes knight f6 because immediate c5 allows e4 and you need to be ready for that so knight f6 e3 is played now just you know developing further e6 and uh, okay now uh, black is at the crossroads and he can play many moves, c5 is one possibility definitely, but uh, let's first examine e6 which is more solid and played uh, by uh, most top grandmasters today. Uh, they go usually c3, because uh, that's part of the uni white's universal setup with knight d2, knight uh, to here and bishop d3. You play c5 trying to undermine the center and the d4 pawn, just fighting for the, for the center. Knight d2, knight c6, developing and now knight f3. And here, uh, white black is at the first crossroads. Uh, my proposal is to play bishop d6, but uh, you can also investigate moves like bishop e7 here or knight h5, which are perhaps a bit more. But uh, knight h5 is a, a bit more sharp, and uh, bishop e7 is uh, after knight e5 a bit more dull, I would say. So bishop d6, and now uh, white usually plays bishop g3, preserving the bishop from the exchange. And you don't really want to exchange here because after h takes g4 you have opened this h file for the for the for white and he will follow it up with bishop d3 g4 or maybe g5 knight e5 and attack you there and your king will not be as safe so you, you you do best just to ignore it and to play castling also note that the old move of queen e7 runs into bishop d3 uh, no sorry it runs into knight e5 and if you castle and bishop d3, uh, knight d7, which was one thought to be good, runs into knight takes d7, bishop takes d7, bishop takes d6, knight takes d queen takes d6, d takes c5, queen takes c5, bishop takes h7, king takes uh, h7, queen h5, king g8, and now knight e4, exploiting this pin. Obviously black can take because it was the queen, and after you move the queen, after knight g5, we can conclude that black is in big trouble. And this is actually a well-known trap that revived the interest uh, in the London system. Obviously you want to play queen, you need to play queen d7 here, but uh, yeah, this is obviously not ideal because you de delay the development and you know this positioning of the piece is somewhat awkward. And after let's say not, not knight f3, white is considerably better, I would say. Yeah, so you just castle here and avoid queen e7. Here uh, white has uh, several options. Uh, we will start with more rare ones. After bishop b5, you just exchange and play queen b6. And this is considered uh, to be pretty decent for black. Uh, I will, you can investigate for yourself, but strong players with black pieces have played it and obtained good results. Uh, another move is immediate knight e5. But here you follow the, the good of the recipe with, I think, uh, even immediate knight e7. And after f4, you just go either knight e4 immediately or prepare it with b6 and knight e4. Or maybe even knight f, or maybe the boss bullet proof is to play knight f5, bishop f2, and bishop here. And then you jump with your knight after I say g4, you jump here and you jump here. And that's the common idea of the London system, which we will see in many variations. And the final and the third move is bishop d3, the main move. You know, just normal looking move. And this, when you flip the board, this is the white's ideal setup with the knights here, bishop here and bishop on d3. This is what, uh, you know, every one the system will play almost automatically. And here, uh, black has to make a choice and they, they have played many moves, but I think bishop b6 is by far the most main one. And here it's important to mention that white can play e4 and if they play e4 you never take but you just simply retreat the bishop and then play this position which is supposed to be good. And if they play e5 you will either go here or maybe even to h5. Uh, so white, if white tries to delay it with queen e2 then you just develop and they usually play bishop d7 
uh, sorry, Rook D1, I'm, I'm mispronouncing the names. And here, once again, there are many moves possible. Uh, most bullet proofs are H6 or Rook C8, okay? Uh, and by far, uh, and please note that if white castles, you just take here, and then they don't have this open, open, open H file. So, uh, uh, the only reasonable try, and once again, the main move here is knight e5. But here, you first defend this knight with bishop b7. And they usually go f4. And the plan is quite similar against all the other moves, like castling. And you just go knight e7, intending some knight e4. And if white prevents it with either, with say, queen f3. You just play knight f5 all the same, you're not afraid of taking of this structure because it gives you more control over e4. Uh, you, let's say, attack the bishop and if they move it, which looks scary because now they prepare g4, g5, you simply move this bishop away, freeing the d6 square and after g4 they go knight d6 and after g5 they play knight e4. And here Black is doing well and we can conclude that uh, he has, let's say, solved his opening problems. So, yeah, I mean, obviously there are a lot of more nuances than this. This is just like a rough overview, uh, despite me trying to make it like an <laughs> overall overview, but it, it wasn't. So, uh, and this variation of the London system is actually considered to be more solid and Black gets a playable position, but by no means refutes the, the London system straight out of the opening.